Hi everybody, it's Cookie Lou in Arizona. It's April 13th, I think, 11.30 in the morning. And I just came home from a very rough morning in the grocery store and at the bank where a man threatened, to, threatened my life. <laughs> he said he was going to punch me out because he was waiting for 15 minutes behind me in the car thing. I don't let you in the bank. This I don't understand. Uh, I put a shot of vodka in my orange juice this morning. That's how frazzled I am. All right, let's start from the beginning. I went to the grocery store because I had to return. A, I had a situation that I, I, I bought two packages of cotton swabs, ovals, they charged me for three. So I went and I told her about that yesterday. I said, you know, I just went home and they charged me for three, so I can't help you now. Can't do any refunds or exchanges or anything until the sign was down off the register. I don't know what the sign said about the coronavirus. We're not gonna do any refunds at this time, blah, blah, blah. So I went back again today. I said, look, you overcharged me, I want my money back. She gave me my money back. I started off with that, and when I went into the, um, I was walking into the store, it's a safe way, I, um, of course I was wearing my mask, as you can see. Hi everybody, coronavirus protection mask. Doesn't do a damn bit of good. There's one woman in the bank wearing her mask. There's the lady at the check at the uh, uh, courtesy desk wearing her mask. There's a guy walking around looking super duper wearing a mask. There's another guy wearing a mask. There's another one wearing a mask. This is where you have to stand to have social distancing. They have little placards on the ground which nobody, is, nobody stands on. They have the uh, tables wrapped in cellophane to make sure nobody sits down there. They don't want you sitting together or gathering in any way, shape, or form. So they, um, they saran wrapped the tables. See, here's another one. Saran wrapped the tables, see that? You have to stand on those squares to keep yourself socially distanced from each other. So that's, that's, the, I started the supermarket with that. My highlight of the supermarket visit was, I got me two packages of toilet paper. Yay, look at this. They're right here. Two packages. Ooh, this is like liquid gold. Two packages of toilet paper. Yay! That should take care of me for a couple of days. Roy SDS is poop. Then I went to the bank. That's where the man was threatening to punch me out. I was online because they don't let you in. This I don't understand. They let a hundred people in the grocery store. There's a guy out there counting. One hundred people, and when you leave, he removes you with his counter. They won't let 10 people in the bank. You have to go only through the drive-in. So of course there's four people working in the bank and there's one woman at the window and the other three people were inside doing whatever transactions went through the little tube, that little tube that they shove up the chute. So of course the woman is taking care of me. This is two, two lanes of cars. There's a lane here and there's another lane here. So I was in the lane closest to the window so that I could talk to her a little better. And I had a couple of transactions that I needed to do. Number one, I wanted to pay off my credit card uh, amount. I had $945. So I wanted to take the money out of my savings and pay off the credit card balance because they charged me $13, $14 a month interest. I don't like to do that. So I said, take it out of my savings, please, and pay this off. Give me a copy 
of my bank statement so I know what's in the bank as far as my deposits and what checks that automatically pay then pay from my checking account because that's what I do I usually have all my my stuff automatically paying all my bills and I want to take a thousand dollars out of the savings and put it in the checking to cover the payment of the uh, credit card so I was three transactions you know one two three I had to wait online just like everybody else did I had to fill out withdrawals for this, deposits for that, another withdrawal, like three different slips. She kept, and I needed to put this in, my driver's license. But she didn't tell me right away, and I had to fish this out. And I had to put all these cards in, credit card, bank card, I don't know. But anyway, I probably was there maybe 15 minutes because she was taking care of me and the person in the other lane as well. And she kept sending things back, sending the two back. I need to have a withdrawal slip. I need to do this. I need to do that. First, she told me to call up the credit card company and have them pay it on the phone. And I said, well, okay. I said, I'd rather do it here, but fine, if it'll get me out of it quicker. Then the next thing I know, she's doing the transaction for me to pay it at the bank. So meanwhile, there's this guy in a car behind me that he, he comes rushing up. I had my door open because I'm trying to talk to the woman, you know, with the tube thing. You know, you have to lean out the door to, to do this, these transactions. And he comes running up, and he's screaming at this woman through the, the bank window. What's taking so long? I've been behind this woman for the last 15 minutes. I have groceries in the car. Everything is melting and getting hot. As, as everything's melting away. What's taking so long? This is ridiculous. And she was saying, well, I'm sorry, sir, but, you know, Everybody has to wait. And he was hollering and screaming at her. And, and then he was yelling at me for taking so long. I says, you know, just go back in your car and chill out. I says, thank God you're alive. I says, put your mask on. I says, go in your car and breathe deep. Calm down. Well, we're all having stress. He says, no, shut up before I, I says, I'll, I'll knock you out. I says, you're going to knock me out? Let's get back in your car and behave, stop and behave yourself. He runs back to the car. This is crazy. I know everybody's on edge. Uh, but this old guy, I mean, I live in Sun City. Everybody is, you know, a senior citizen here. And um, it's not my fault they're not letting anybody in the bank. This would have been handled in half the time if they would let people come into the bank just to go at the tellers and write there. Because... It's so much easier when you're in front of a teller. They'll say, okay, you'll know, sign this and sign that. And they'll sometimes they'll even fill out the, the slips for you and just say, sign it and I'll fill it out. But they're not doing that. So they keep sending things back and forth through that tube thing. And it takes twice as long and people are getting agitated that way. Well, this one guy got agitated waiting. It's not my fault. And she's like, I need your driver's license. I said, well, you didn't ask me. You should have told me that from the get-go. I would have put it in and to fish it out. I mean, it's... It's just frustrating. You know, life is stressful enough nowadays. We don't need to have all this. I mean, she didn't give a shit. She was just sitting there putting her eight hours in to tell her. And um, she was behind a protective glass. I was in my car. This guy was going to punch me through the window. <laughs> That's why I put vodka. And I don't drink. The vodka that I have here, I bought... For sanitary purposes, because it's alcohol. <laughs> I couldn't find any disinfectant. I bought a bottle of vodka. The worst comes to worst, I have a disinfectant. I put it in my juice this morning. So anyway, it's crazy. It's crazy. But I did get toilet paper today. Yay! Got toilet paper. All right, guys. Nothing more to say. A stressful time and you know I'm pretty much a stay-at-home gal most of the time but this is starting to get to me this self-quarantine crap crap all the stuff is really starting to get way on my nerves I have nowhere to go nothing to do you know I mean I could get in the car and you know but you can't go anywhere you know I put my mask on all the time 
if I have to go anywhere. And I ordered masks on Amazon.com because I have that one paper mask that my cardiologist nurse gave me. And those are supposed to be disposable. You just wear them like once and then you're supposed to throw them away. But that's the only one I have, so I won't throw it away. But everybody's wearing masks. And um, I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't know how accurate this whole pandemic thing is. Uh, I know people are taking precautions as they should, but it's like it came out of nowhere and it turned the whole world upside down. The whole, at least the, the United States, the country of the United States, upside down. And um, it's starting to wear and tear on people's nerves. It really is. And um, it's stressful, but what are we going to do? We just have to do the best we can for as long as as we have on this earth. And uh, I mean, I'm I'm not a young person with it, with children and babies and husbands to take care of. It's just me. But um, it's um, I'm I kind of feel sometimes I wake up in the morning as I don't even know why the hell I'm still here. You know, I just want to say, beam me up, Scotty. You know, I went out. I went out of here. I mean, I don't want to get the coronavirus. It's not a, not a happy way to die. You're suffocating. You know, your lungs fill up with fluid. and It's a very strong phase of, of pneumonia-type illness. And But living like this isn't life either. Living like a prisoner. Living in my, our homes are like tombs. We're living in our home, which is a tomb. It's like living in a cemetery. And I know we have all these people on TV that come in and they sing to us and they strum their guitars and they sing and we're all in this together. No, we're not. I mean, we are to a degree, but I'm sitting in my house by myself and so are most of you. So that's not, you don't feel like you're together with everybody. And it's, uh, it's, getting, uh, it's getting stressful. So I don't know. If, all I know is if I was a younger person and I had young children, I needed to work, I needed to pay off a mortgage, and you know, the only thing I have to do is go to the damn grocery store. And that enough is that's stressful enough right there or to the bank, and that nearly got me punched today. <laughs> Such a sweet person. I was waiting online just like everybody else. I didn't threaten to punch anybody. I didn't yell at the woman what's holding everything up. You know, you just have to go with the flow. Everybody's doing the best they can. It's not easy times. Just chill out, people. Chill out. Don't let your nerves get the better of you. Step back, regroup, and um, know that, that we're all you know, we're all in this together. Even though we're sitting home alone in the house with our loved ones or by ourselves. And um, anyway, okay, I'm gonna finish my juice, my juicy juice. I wish every, every one of you out there hugs and kisses and a blessed day. Bye.